Bernie Sanders believes in social synergy, although he never referred to it by this name. The term synergy was coined by Buckminster Fuller in the 20th century. It describes the total system behavior unpredicted by any of its isolated components. Doing more with less is a result of synergistic relationships. Bees and flowers have this kind of relationship. Bees collect nectar to survive and the flowers deposit pollen on the bees to promote cross-pollination. This interdependent method of survival can be found in the oceans, on land, and even inside the human intestinal tract. As a matter of fact, almost all biological systems depend on synergistic relationships. Businesses rely on synergy to survive and grow. Shopping malls became fashionable when businesses realized that more stores attract more people in a smaller area. Shopping malls are beneficial to building contractors, store owners, and shoppers. In other words, it's more beneficial to work together than to work alone. Dynamic groups understand the importance of cooperation. They understand that well-considered interactive decisions are more beneficial than isolated, uninformed conclusions. Buckminster Fuller would say we have avoided synergistic relationships by wandering too far from the roots. We treat our planet like a trash can, with unlimited space, even though our planet is small, with limited resources. Clean air and clean water are more valuable than money. These are basic human needs, BHNs, as opposed to GNPs, gross national products. The gross national products only measure the total value of a nation's products bought and sold. Anyhow, I apologize for wandering too far from the roots. My intent is to apply a synergistic solution to our social and economic dilemma. We are at the crossroads and have to make a serious decision before being placed on the endangered species list. We are running out of oil and other non-renewable resources. The ice caps are melting. The planet is getting warmer. We are running out of clean air and clean water. We have a host of interconnected problems that include national debt and unemployment. The job of government is to govern for the benefit of all people. Unregulated capitalism only favors the extremely wealthy. The greedy nature of corporations has a way of destroying our planet in the name of progress. Hog farming, cattle farming, and chicken farming are done to maximize profits at the expense of sanitary and humane conditions. It takes 60 pounds of vegetable protein to produce just one pound of animal protein. Is it really necessary to continue eating animals to survive when vegetable proteins are less expensive and less toxic? Can you think of a way we can apply synergy concepts to the food industry? Now that we understand the holistic concept of synergy, let's see if we can apply our understanding to the social dilemma of unemployment, expensive energy, global warming, and pollution. Renewable energy systems such as geothermal, wind, and solar could supply most of our energy needs without destroying the planet. Career opportunities in the field of alternative energy are growing every day. In the United States alone, there are now over 200,000 jobs available in the field of solar energy. The main reason more people are not involved with renewable energy systems has to do with the lack of training. All government has to do is subsidize training programs. This would solve the unemployment problem as well as slow down the pollution caused by burning fossil fuels. Tuition-free training centers may not solve all our social and economic problems, but I do believe they would put us on the road towards social synergy.